Whoa. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> yes. Does this work? It does. Let's try one more time. That went so far. Certainly the wing is comboing with that. Either that or long throw got a major buff. Horses sure are cute. I'm saying that because I am a horse. Uh, have I told you about my bucket? No, oh, well, it's behind me. Look in at your own risk. Would you like to take your horse? He's not here, but I can summon him with my dark magic. Am I okay? I was gonna say, am I able? I was kind of tuning him out. Wow, that's a lot of registry slots. I don't know how I'm able to speak in this exact range, but I can. You want B.A. Barakas then? He has a max bond and no strength or pull. He's a wild horse. Thank you for waiting. This little one sure looks happy to go on a ride with you. That should about wrap things up, please. Turn around, I... I need to use the bucket. Just turn and stop by any time, just... Not when I'm using my bucket, which is... Right there. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome- Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I... Uh, I have a problem. Oh, no. Uh... Hmm. Let, let's get off the horse so I can properly demonstrate this. When I turn to the right and walk a little bit, you'll see that I turn down. I turn downward. I turn to the south. Um, actually, I'm actually... I'm not turning to the south. Never mind. I'm turning down a little bit. Uh, there's something wrong with my Switch Pro Controller. Somehow, uh, this is like the first, uh, honestly, the first controller I've managed to really break in my life. Eh, I guess that's not entirely true, but the functionality of this controller is uh, is jeopardized, let's just say. So we're going to see how much of the session I can, I can get through uh, with a faulty control stick. I'm probably going to have to get a new controller, which kind of stinks. Um, they're expensive. They're expensive, and the Switch 2 is about to come out. Which probably means, I guess it's not about to come out, but y y you know what I mean. Soon-ish, it will be coming out. Uh, and then where will we be? Well, I'll be getting a new controller. If I recall... Oh, I should probably talk about what I'm doing this episode. Oh, there's a, a blood moon. T today, we are, we are going to be surgically extracting something. This is going to be one of the weirdest sessions that I've done so far. And actually, now it looks like I can't, I cannot, I might be able to. Huh. So, l let me, let me get to the, the point here. Uh, I'm intending to 100% this Let's Play. And to do that, that entails getting all of the Korok Seeds. I've done that before in Breath of the Wild. And that experience has taught me a couple things. First and foremost, I'm not going to be including those in the episode. That just... As much as my personal preference would, would favor me showing every relevant thing towards completion in an episode, I know that you guys have limited time, and you don't... Um, for viewership, for viewership, let's just say... It, it behooves me not to do that. So I'm going to be cutting out the Korok Seeds. And whenever I get a Korok Seed, or whenever I find one, I'm not even going to cut out me collecting it. I'm going to pull up my map, drop a leaf... Oh, that's not a leaf. Drop a leaf on the map, and then continue on my merry way, and then get the Korok Seeds at the end, or before I, rec or before I start a new recording session to warm up. And we're just going to passively collect them. But what that means... I should probably go in the shrine. Is that... I need the Korok mask. Now, there have been a couple of episodes and a community tab where I have... Oh, there's the chest. Is it going to respawn over here? Is that what's happening? Ah. You know, let's recall that. 
where I've asked uh, where the Korok mask is. So you guys have been very helpful in informing the, me that it is underneath the Korok forest. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going underneath the Korok forest. And if I find it, cool. Then then we can leave. We, we can go about our merry way. Uh, the comments have m many, many times uh, encouraged me to go to the Rito Domain. Uh, and so I think that's probably what we're going to be doing after the Gerudo Highlands. Uh, but until we get that Korok mask, we are going to be hanging around the Korok Forest. But this is going to be a little bit weird, because this is uh, obviously a blind Let's Play. Switch is kind of lagging a little bit. That's weird. This is a blind Let's Play. And I'm trying to find something specific. And I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. It might mean that we spend a lot of it, a lot. I spend a lot of time uh, just off-screen, wandering around the depths until I find this mysterious, this mysterious item. Or it might mean that I find it instantly. We're gonna find out. Okay. Oh, can I recall that? Yeah, I can. Okay. So let's do that. Recall. And then wait right here. Bada bing. And then... A wheel on a track. Two wheels on a track. What is that? Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Oh, that's neat. That's really neat. Uh, turn. We want to go that way. I don't know how this is going to work with it being upside down. Do we attach it there? I don't... I'm not entirely sure how this works. Uh oh No. Okay, we must attach it to the top. That slot made me think. I cannot see. Uh, this is... I want it going that way. Does that work? Oh, it does. That's just going the wrong direction. I can't hit it. That's good to know. Once we get back to the uh, the sky, I wager to guess that is going to be a core mechanic. All right. But until we get to the depths underneath the Quark Forest, where's my, oh, there it is. I'd like to grab a couple of shrines. They've been sitting around here. I'm woefully, woefully uh, low on light light orbs. I mean, I have six hearts, and granted, I have I have two stamina bars, but uh, we really haven't gotten any shrines in this Let's Play. It just hasn't been something I've prioritized. We've been in the depths, we've really only cleared Gerudo and then the Gerudo Highlands, but not even the the Gerudo Skylands. <laughs> That's probably what going to be what the episode's called when I get there. And so, I'm getting one-shot by everything because I've just... In terms of exploration, I've been scaling and quote-unquote leveling up since there is probably still a hidden le uh, level-up feature from Breath of the Wild. Let's go that way, actually. And then get that tower. Do I want to go that way? Yeah, that's that's the opposite direction I, where I, than when I want to go, than the one I want to go. Uh, we're, we're, we're heading north-ish. Whenever I see a shrine, I am going to go grab it. We're only one... Ooh. We are only one light orb away. Now, as I ride, I'm going to talk about my inventory a little bit. Because I alluded to having this super secretive build that I've been excited to try. So, opals. I, I've been trying to think about how I can better utilize my shields. And one of the thoughts I had with that was using opals and then using... In fact, do I fight these people? To, nah. Nah, I'm going to wait for a... A better battle. We'll, we'll get into some nice battles in the depths. My thought is, if I shield bash somebody with opal an opal on my shield, it will it will drench them, right? And while drenched, electric weapons are way better. So if I can shield bash in a group of enemies and then go ham with electric weapons, I'm giving this one a shot because I don't know what the the eyeball will do other than a fire element. Uh, that if I go ham with electric weapons. 
then in theory, it will cause a co an AOE of electricity, and it will be it'll be really good for handling groups of enemies. That's my hope, at least. Looks like there's some. Oh, I'm going south. <laughs> Pay attention to the map, pal. Pay attention to the map. That is the opposite direction than the one you want to go. We have a goal. It's a surgical extraction. Uh, not. Man, did never trust me. Never trust me to do surgery on you. I don't. <laughs> I go in for a heart surgery and I take out a lung. Okay, we're going this way. <laughs> they watch me ride by, turn around, and then just ride back the other way. Yeah, so that's the idea with my build. You can also see in my inventory that I'm tr gonna try some new things. Um, a comment a long while ago mentioned that uh, attaching uh, Lizalfos tails to weapons basically acts as a whip, and you can see it in action there. Uh, and that sounds really cool. I, I like having a lot of reach on my weapons. It's weird though. Okay, wait. Let's let's get some money. You drop it multiple times. I don't know if you drop multiple monies. No, you just drop a few monies. Okay. I feel like in Breath of the Wild, they dropped multiple... Like, you could shoot them multiple times. Although maybe... Hold on. Although maybe you shot them multiple times, and they would only drop one per... Ow! I tried to jump off. Oh, I, mean, I killed a couple. Sure, sure, we're, we're, we'll do it, we'll do it. It can't be that long, right? Oh, hi. What's up? Ow. Let's give this a shot. Oh, it does work. It does work. I mean, granted, I was out of range for, uh, for that to truly work. But it does apply the water element. And that's important. Let's use this. I just kind of want to see. I wonder if I threw this, if it would be guided. I think that's worth giving a shot. Next enemy I see. Is there an enemy up here? There's a bat. No, <laughs> it did not work. But there was an idea. Uh, could have sworn there was a bat here. Go up there. Really? Oh, hi. Just walked right into him. Well, that was a good little... Are you gonna get up? I... I hit him. That was weird. That was really weird. I definitely hit him. And it... I wonder if because I'm using such a weak bow if it didn't count, which is odd. I thought they were just kind of a one-hit wonder type, type of enemy. Um, like the bloopies. I didn't think they would have hit points, but apparently they... kind of do. Okay, well, let's get a quick little, little vista. It's a plant over there. Uh, sure, cave done. Let's, uh, go back to our horse. Okay, back north. That was a good little detour. It, it, not all, not all the time do we get off our horse, say, hey, let's just do this real quick and not spend the entire episode doing whatever the distraction was, following that lead. It's kind of nice. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. I'm totally sorry. I thought you were a better horse BA. I apologize. I am a horrible human being. What are they doing here? Are they building, uh... Are they repairing this... This wall, it looks like? That's kind of neat. With a bunch of enemies nearby, you'd think that they would try and take care of that. Especially so close to Lookout Landing. That's... That seems like threat, threat number one. That would affect caravans getting in. I would take care. I would take right care of that if I was a, uh, if I was anus. Some of you are gonna be like, "What on earth did? Oh, did you just say?" Watch last episode. You'll find out. Uh, hi. You are a man. With your help, President Hudson is now standing properly and proudly and firmly, much like he does in real life. Take some money and some balls. I have some balls. They're energizing balls. There's one thing I've said I can say about. Never mind. It looks like that bloopy would probably lead us to that cave over there, which would be great if. Where'd my horse go? Oh, there you are. 
that'd be fantastic if I was interested in uh, exploring caves right now. It's kind of interesting because we've already gone this direction very, very early on in the adventure, but I knew so little about the world back then. Now, I, I understand so much more, but I still don't get, have the full picture, which is kind of cool that we're 80, oh my word, 82, 83 episodes in, and I don't know what the runes on the side of hills are on, and mountains. I don't know so many different things. It, it's just cool. I know I've said that a few times that it's like, we know so much, but we don't know anything, but it's true. This game is so much deeper than, uh, than Breath of the Wild was, and... Honestly, uh, the rewards for exploration are awesome. We we just went into a cave the other day. I mean, last episode or the, you know, the last recording session, and we came out of it with a full armor set, which is just not something that was true of Breath of the Wild, you know? The rewards in Breath of the Wild were either spirit orbs or money at the end of the day, or weapons, I guess. But in this game, they can be so many different things, and it's it's awesome. And sure, the the gear isn't the best. It is not the best gear, but it's not nothing. And wherever you are in the game, it could be something. Uh, let's just avoid them. I, I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going. Like, I kind of know where I'm going, but... I, I don't know if I need to go into the Korok Forest in order to... Uh, it should be up here, right? It's like that? So that's the castle. So I should be turning right, I think. I'm not gonna lie, some of this topography is unfamiliar to me. Oh, is it this? Is it this? Hold on. That's it, right? I think. Why is it covered in darkness? But yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to go into the depths from the Korok Forest, or if there is an entrance outside of it. I'm pretty sure- it's probably... I would imagine... that it's inside, considering it's surrounded by water. But there will be one entrance into there from, uh, from land, because there's an actual land bridge on the surface. So, I don't- I'm not, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. That's- that's the weird part, with me looking for a specific thing with no knowledge other than a general location of how to get that specific thing. I think we should probably aim for the tower, wherever that might be. I don't think that's the tower. That seems kind of... Actually, how far... Hold on. Okay, so we should probably grab that. And then where is the to that tower? It's in... It's in a different region. Okay, so we don't need to get that tower. That's not the one we're looking for. But... That said, I don't know where it is, where the one we're looking for is. Uh, what I should probably be doing is dismounting here. Ascending to the top of this platform. Placing a Korok leaf and not doing the Korok seed and then flying over there. Which, actually, I don't think I can make it in this flight. Uh, no, actually, no, I can, I can, I can. It, it'll require a little trick, a little trick shooting. I think I can. Actually, I might be able to just straight up make it. I was planning on firing an ice arrow right beneath me, but no, that, that worked. That worked also. I don't know if there was a, a, um, I don't know if there was wind. It looks like there was wind. I was going to say... I was flying right there, and I was inputting forward, so there is definitely something wrong with my controller. Hey, you! I know what you are, monster. You've come for my blessing of clothing enhancement. I've heard this land is now smothered in gloom and overrun by monsters. Oh, I'll never hear a musical troupe pass by again, and the sweet notes of its violin player. I'm staying sealed up in my flower bud for the rest of eternity, or until I hear a violin in the world once more. I came here to be close to a stable, where I could offer my blessings to travelers. But now, until I hear a violin played by a musician in a troupe, I can't bear the thought of ever going outside ever again. Okay. So, a lot of these fairies, if not all of them, are going to be needing- oh, I should probably mark the map, huh? 
require music to open the way, and I've I have not encountered uh, any musical any musicians so far. So I don't truthfully summering butterfly. Truthfully, I do not know how I'm supposed to uh, supposed to free the fairies, which is going to be kind of a problem. I'll be honest, because I, I have six hearts, I die in one hit to basically everything but the weakest of the weak enemies. The longer I travel, the mo the stronger the enemies are going to be getting, and uh, I'm I'm, I'm kind of worried, I'm not going to lie. I, like, I have to get very good at this game, and I'm getting better, but I need to get much better. Hi, horse. Oh, you are a man. Let's give this a shot. Or, um... Or that can happen. Good job, Riju. Good job, honey. I appreciate UBA, but kinda, kinda made things a little bit difficult for me. Okay, so we're riding this way, kinda. Man, I wish I could have a goat, like a mountain goat. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Or a Skyrim horse? Yeah, what if there was a Skyrim horse in this game? As like a secret. That'd be kinda cool. I have a feeling that BA is going to be left behind in a few moments. I'm gonna... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that an entrance to the depths? Stop, BA, stop, BA. Yeah, I think that's it for BA. We had a good run. I wonder... I wonder if a sled could get across that. If there's an easy way besides me throwing ice. Like, I wonder if I... I could... You know what? Do I have... Where... Where's the bird? I don't want to deal with you guys. I was kind of tr going to try to put a frost emitter on the front of a sled, because I think that would be really cool. You know, I'm still going to try it. That I'm entering an era where I just want to try things. Oh, I don't have a fan, do I? <laughs> nice. Good job, pal. There was proof of concept, though. We're still going to try it. Back it up. What are you doing? This is quite the, quite the cluster. Man, these things are so weak and so annoying. Please, please die. They die in one hit to a weak, a super weak bow. Okay, can I have, can I have some peace yet? Oh, you stopped. <laughs> did he crash? <laughs> he crashed. Where did my sled go? Oh, there it is. Are you, are you for real right now? Apparently not, because now he's dead. What is this rock here for? What is this rock doing? I'm pushing the rock down. It did nothing, okay. Proof of concept, I, I just want to try this. Move it up. Does, this does not. That does not work, okay. All right, well I tried. I'm actually kind of kind of severely dis disappointed by that. I would have thought that would work. Why? Why are they making a ramp? What is happening here? Okay. Fast and Furious Bokoblin edition. Now, was this the entrance to the depths or is it just a random a random pool of blight? I'm going to whistle just in case just in case BA can figure his life put his life together. What is this? Is this depths? Are these the depths? They are the depths. Discovery. <laughs> Minish Woods Chasm. Let's go. Remember, I'm here for one thing. 